Howdy folks, Ted Porter at the Beamer Shop. I'm going to do a one-handed, one-person video today. I'm here by myself at the shop, but uh, before this bike goes home, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how, you can, how easy it is to calibrate the preload motors on your ESA suspension. We replaced the shocks front and rear on this 2008 R1200GS, and I thought it'd be a good idea to plug in the GS911 and do a quick calibration of the preload motors. What happens over time is that the preload motors can go out of sync with where the controller thinks the limits are. And when you do the, the uh, synchronization or the calibration, uh, it, it links the two of them back up again. The preload motor shows the controller where its limits are and they're back in calibration. It's super easy to do. I'm in uh, what's called infrastructure mode here. You can, uh, you might not, yeah, I guess you can see that. Uh, you can see the solid green. Um, light to the right there which means I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network here and I'm just going to open the app on my cell phone select the bike and then we're going to go to vehicle electronics and then we are going to go to service functions and in the service functions as it's communicating with the server it's going to give me a test here called calibrations I mean a, a selection uh, called calibrations and then right there you can see ESA calibration. Uh, it'll give you a little bit of information <clears throat> regarding what happens if you disconnect and so forth. A couple of warnings and a button you can, you can select and it really is this simple. Now you can hear the preload motors, they're already working. It's going to start pushing down, here it comes. It's doing the same thing on the front. And basically, it's finding its limits. Here comes the piston. You can see the silver thing at the top of the spring. It's going to find its maximum limit, and then it's going to find its minimum. And it's going to communicate with the controller and say, these are my limits. This is my park position, and this is my maximum position. So now you can be sure that you're going to get full actuation of the preload motor so that you'll get maximum lift, and that the park position will also be correct. This is uh, not uh, absolutely critical that you do this, but to get best performance out of your preloaders, it's a really good idea. And you can see how simple it is with the GS911. So that's it. Right here it says ESA calibration completed successfully, and we are done. This is just one of many functions, uh, many uh, calibration functions inside the GS911 tool. Thanks for watching. Ted Porter for BeamerShop.com, the best place to get your ESA suspension and a new GS911 Wi-Fi.